Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Preservation of homelands is a basic purpose of religion. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Welcome to Egypt, you will all be safe here, Allah willing. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Allah the Almighty has blessed humans with many great graces and bounties, at the top of which is the blessing of having a homeland, where people live in safety and security, in peace and tranquility, and where, and where they enjoy a decent life without fear, troubles, or panic. This is why the love of one's nation is an intrinsic feeling that touches one's heart and a notion of love that fills one's consciousness. A homeland is not just a place where one lives. Rather, it is a great notion that lives inside us. The Prophet, peace be upon him, has embodied these meanings in his statement when his people forced him to leave Mecca, he, peace be upon him, said, How good you are as a land, and how dear you are to my heart. Had your people not forced me out of you, I would have never come out, and would have never resided in any other city but you. A homeland is considered one of the six major principles that the Islamic Sharia has fostered and protected with due means. The preservation of homelands is a basic purpose of religion. The religion shall not be firm and solid except under the umbrella of a strong homeland that protects and preserves it. Also, people cannot preserve their faith unless they feel safe in their homelands. The preservation of one's homeland starts from the citizen's appreciation of the blessing of having a homeland, his responsibility for its security and stability, and his willingness to sacrifice himself for the sake of the homeland. True patriotism means giving, sacrifice, loyalty, supporting the homeland in times of ease and hardship, and defending its frontiers to secure its borders and to deter all enemies who want to attack it or undermine its capabilities. A poet said, a country whose youth died defending its life and passed away to let their people survive. It goes without saying that the preservation of the blessing of security is the core of the preservation of homelands and preservation of their stability. Security is one of the greatest blessings that the Almighty Allah has blessed His servants with. As Allah the Most High says, He did this to make the Quraysh feel secure. Secure in their winter and summer journey. So let them worship the Lord of this house, who provides them with food to reward, to ward off hunger, safety to ward off fear. Allah, glory be to him, also said, Have we not established for them a secure sanctuary where every kind of produce is brought as a provision from us? But most of them do not comprehend. In another verse, Allah, glory be to him, also said, Can they not see that we have made them a secure sanctuary, though all around them people are snatched away? Then how can they believe in what is false and deny Allah's blessing? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whosoever begins the day feeling family security and good health and possessing provision for his day, then as if he possessed the whole world. Among the most important factors for the preservation of homelands is, depending on the means of strength, knowledge, working, perfection of production, construction and development. Everything that leads to the strength of one's homeland is a purpose of religion, as religion is the part of making life and making advancement, not the art of death and, and deconstruction. The Almighty Allah said, It is He who has made the earth manageable for you 
travel its regions, eat his provision, and to him you will be resurrected. Allah, glory be to him, also said, Say, Prophet, take action. Allah will see your actions. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, No food is better to a man than that which he earns through his manual work. Dawood, peace be upon him, the Prophet of Allah, ate only out of his earning from his manual work. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, Allah loves someone who, when works, he performs it in perfect manner. Also, a poet once said, By science and money, people build their kingship. No kingship was built on ignorance and reduction. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. Preservation of homelands requires upholding the general interest of the homeland to advance it and protect its safety and security. Away from all forms of individualism, selfishness, and passivity, the Prophet, peace be upon him, gave us a wonderful example for the compassion among the nation, saying the believers in their mutual kindness, compassion, and sympathy are just like one body. When one of the limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. It is also said, he who lives just for his own interests deserves not to be a human. The homeland is our responsibility before Allah the Almighty and before ourselves. Homelands are established to their citizens, and they are for all citizens, and they cannot advance by only some of them. All citizens are on the same ship, and they all must work together in solidarity to survive. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The likeness of a man who observes the limits prescribed by Allah, and that of the man who transgresses them, is like the people who get on board a ship after casting lots. Some of them are in its lower deck, and some of them are in its upper part. Those who are in its lower part, when they require water, go to the occupants of the upper deck and say to them, If we make a hole in the bottom of the ship, we shall not harm you. If they, the occupants of the upper deck, leave them to carry out their design, they all will be drowned. But if they do not let them go ahead with their plan, all of them will remain safe. We ask Allah to protect Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world.